Welcome to Gold Market Bank Charts of the Day. Max Messina, Analyst of Gold Markets, here with you on the 30th of October to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we move into the middle part of the Asian session. Of course, US equities are mixed again on Friday on increasing Middle Eastern conflict concerns despite positive earnings that we're still seeing from across the board. Over 75% of the S&P 500 that have reported so far have beaten EPS around about 65 are beating revenue expectations. The Nasdaq was the only index to the upside with INTC and Amazon earnings helping the index along. But key levels were breached last week across all major indices with another tricky week ahead. US futures are higher in Asian trading, though Asian markets are mixed after that week leap from Wall Street. ASX is down. 0.5% after hitting one year lows last week, but off session lows really started very miserably, uh, but seem to be picking up a little. The VIX is at six month highs, reflecting that uncertainty that markets are feeling at the moment, and European futures are pointing to a cautious open. US dollar index paused on Friday it is still sitting at the top of the range on bond yield strength. However, gold continues to move higher. It has now breached the 2000 key psychological level in Asian trading today. It looks strong again. Copper remains in a short term range after a positive Friday, and oil also bounced off support on Friday to show a good day in the commodity space. Bitcoin remains under the technically important 35,000 level, though it did gap a little higher today and looks as though that might be retested. And of course, as well as earnings season ramping up and the Middle East conflict in focus. We've got plenty of data for the market to digest this week. We've got eyes on the Fed on Wednesday with their rate decision. We've got the BOJ rate decision today, as well as Japanese jobs data, German retail sales, Canadian GDP, Eurozone CPI and US housing data in Chicago PMI make for a really busy start to the week. A couple of charts at Core RI. The GB pound Australian dollar Core RI, you can see on the 30 minute chart, we've dropped during the course of the Asian session so far, breaching Friday's low close and through that 190.75 level could be a move down to the next support here at around 190.24. So that's about a 50 pip move. Certainly worth an eye kept on this particular pair during the course of the day. On the ASX, iron ore stocks continue to look strong along with those in the gold sector. If we look at Rio Tinto here, you can see there we're pushing up against this resistance level just under that 120. Possible move up to around about 130 in the medium term should this continue. But that 200 EMA looks like a very, very solid support at this stage. You can see it tested multiple times over the last couple of months. And a breach of this 120 level could be interesting going forward. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.